Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the water inlet valve in your refrigerator, be sure to unplug the power cord. Shut off the water supply as well. Have an assistant help you to pull the appliance away from the wall. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw, securing the water supply line retainer to the rear panel. Use a half inch wrench or an adjustable wrench to unthread the compression nut to detach the supply line from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Now unthread the remaining screws, securing the access panel. Set the panel aside. Unthread the two mounting screws, securing the water inlet valve bracket to the frame. Note the orientation of the wire connectors, then disconnect them from the solenoid terminals. Note the orientation of the water lines, then remove the retainers when required. And use a 7 16 inch wrench to depress the retaining rings to release the water lines from the old valve. Before you install the new water inlet valve, Remove the protective cap from the inlet port. Now insert the water lines into the appropriate valve ports until fully seated. Replace the retainers where applicable. Connect the wire connectors to the appropriate solenoid terminals. Align the valve bracket on the frame and thread the two mounting screws. Reinstall the access panel. Attach the water supply line to the new valve by threading the compression nut. Avoid over tightening the nut. Slide on the retainer and secure it to the rear panel with the access panel mounting screw. Push the refrigerator back against the wall. Turn the water supply back on, plug the power cord back in, and your refrigerator should be ready for use.